what? She's coming. Marilyn's coming. I know. I know. How? Well, how you think I know? She called me. She did? Look, kid. Henry. Yeah. How large is this town? Bam. Anyway, Cecil told me about the movie. Marilyn didn't call. Oh. She probably just forgot. Yeah. That's it, kid. She just forgot. Do me a favor, kid. Hop up in the cab and hit the clutch. That's clutch. The pedal on the left. Didn't anyone ever show you how to drive? Just ease it out. Ease it out. Why don't you try and get yourself into a better gear? All right. Okay. Quick. Okay. Keep it as straight as you can. Now, look. Look. You got to keep your eye on the road. That's most important. Uh, Henry. 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 Try this. Okay, lean back. How are you? Much better. It's okay, it's okay. Just ease it out. Ease it out. No, ease it out. No, 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 no. It's no. hard. I, I know it's hard, Henry, but if you listen to what I'm saying, it's just like a dance. You see? Clutch comes out. So it goes in. Just like a dance. Gently. Good, good, good. Keep your eye on the road. Straight ahead. That's good. That's good. Now, you, you remember, as you let out, just ease it up. Let out, just ease it up. Okay, so try, you want to try again? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, no, it's, it's all right. Because, see, that one you caught a little quicker that time. See, you see what I'm saying? You got it back a little quicker. So you don't let it go. You get it back. Go. No. No, you're doing well. You know what? You're going to be driving in a minute. You're going to be driving in a minute. This is good. This is good. Eyes on the road. Ten and two. Relax. You want to try it again? Okay, try it again. did not. You did too. No, what I said was you should hit his worthless you behind. Not, you said I could not hit him because your insurance wouldn't cover it. I knew you loved me. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I wouldn't have hit you. Never happened. We fast. Move like elk. Plenty. Caution. 
Old truck, bad brakes. You never know. <laughs> dust. Too much dust. Everywhere around here, dust. You know what else I hate? What? I hate the heat. Yeah, I hate the heat, too. Yeah, that heat. You got to hate it. You know what else I hate? What? Huh. Homework. Homework? Yeah, homework. I hate it. You hate homework? If you hate homework, kid, I hate homework. You hate homework? You don't even know what homework is. Oh, what are you saying? I'm ignorant? No, what I'm saying is set an example for the kid. <sighs> nice dust. I tell you, I hate the dust. What do you hate, J.M.? Me? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, he's just trying to be an example, kid. I am not. I can't think of anything I hate. I don't believe it. Yeah, me neither. Suit yourselves. What do you think that movie company's coming here? Vanessa's because of her. I just thought of something I hate. Hmm. Stupid conversations. <laughs> Write down the numbers for me, okay? That movie company's gonna be here tomorrow. It's gonna be right down the street from the Odeon. That's so. Yeah. High test, 3042. That's what my dad said. He's working on it, you know. He's their doctor. 3032? I know, that's what you told me, and that's 42. 42. Sorry. It's okay. Anyways, dad said Clark Gable's real nice. You need him? No. That's what you heard. <laughs> what? Nothing. Regular. $43.95. You think you'll see her? Look, Henry, Marilyn Monroe ain't something real to me. She's just, she's just a dream. I don't know her, and she ain't never gonna know me. But she's gonna be right down the street. Look, I gotta get back to work. You should get back to the crest. They're gonna be looking for you. Hey, Lynette! 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 Where are you going? To work. Work? In the movie, silly mister. You? In the movie? I guess they just recognize real talent when they see it. How's she gonna be? An extra. An extra? What's that? Well, that's someone who... What'd they say? Oh, yeah. It's someone who provides atmosphere. Sounds pretty important. It is. But... Who are all these people? They're extras, too. They're not extra special like me. Now, I gotta run, little mister. I can't be late for work. But you're always late for work. Out of the way, kid. All right, people, I need your full attention on this one. I need you to pay attention to me. The more you cooperate with me, the easier it's gonna be on all of us, okay? Pay attention to me. That's all you've got to do. I'll tell you everything to do. You yes, understand? Sir. Have you seen my dad? Look, kid. Yeah, look. I got 400 extras here. Most of them idiots. All of them looking inbred. How the hell am I supposed to know which one's your father? He's a doctor. Dr. Sturbuck? You're the doctor's kid? No one in their right mind can make that up. He's over there. All right, now listen up, damn it. All of those people with the last names beginning with A through F. Move over there. The rest of you sit tight. Wait for instructions. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to find some enlightened people. Now, not many, Grancher, but some enlightened just the same. Hey, Dad. <laughs> uh, hi, son. Ladies, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Who are they? Who's that? Those ladies, the ones you were just talking to. 
Oh, them. Uh, well, they work on the movie. They're very important people. What do they do? They're, they're extras. <laughs> I, I thought they were pretty. Really? I, I didn't notice it. So you, you want me to show you around a little bit? Now, this is where they're filming the movie over here. How are you doing, officer? How about they need the lights on? Say what? Well, it's sunny out. Oh, well, I'm sure that it's because it's it's for effect. Who's that? That right there? Uh, that's uh, uh, Miss Paula Strasberg. Who? She's Marilyn Monroe's friend. Why would Marilyn have a friend that looks like that? You see that man right over there? Standing there with the cowboy hat on? They all have cowboy hats on. Son, the one that looks exactly like Clark Gable? No. Oh, uh-huh. It's not him. It's his stand in. Oh. Have you met her? Oh. Marilyn. Who? Marilyn Monroe. Oh. Yes, I have met Miss Marilyn Monroe. Well, what's she like? I, I, I didn't get a chance to speak with her because she wasn't feeling very well, but I, I did look her over and I prescribed some medicine for her so she could, she could sleep. I'm sure I'll have to come back and see her again. And, and when I do, I'll get an autograph just for you. How about that? What's she look like? Well, look for yourself. She's right over there. Dad, can I bring a friend down? Shh. Pictures up! Well, can I, Dad? Henry, shh, 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 whatever. Sure, go. And we are rolling! Hey, have you seen J.M.? What? J.M., my truck broke down. I'm looking all over for him. No, but I can check the garage and see if he's not. I've already been there. Look, if you see him, you tell him I'm looking for him. J.M.? Hey, J.M., you here? J.M.? J.M., I gotta tell you something. It's real important. Want a bite? Yeah. Just kidding. You don't have to share. There's plenty of feet out back. Mmm. Tastes just like chicken. You seen JM? Huh? I'm looking for JM. I ain't seen him. I saw Lynette, though. Yeah, I saw her. You wouldn't know where he is, would you? What's Lynette doing anyway? She's an extra. Look, it's real important. An extra? Finally, somebody paid her to keep her mouth shut? Look, Cecil, it's real, 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 real important that I find him. Who? J.M. Now, if you find him or see him, tell him that I need to talk to him and it's an emergency. What are you going to do? At the movie set where all the big trucks are. Watch it, kid. Hey, Geronimo. You should get me a beer. I do not know how they do it. Body go crazy doing it day after day. What? Stand around, do nothing but wait. I used to think it'd be something to be a movie star, but after today, no thank you. Just as soon keep working for a living. Boy, this makes my fanny feel good. You been here long? Oh, a few hours. What you doing here? 
Looking for J.M.? Well, I know what I am looking for, and it ain't no J.M. It's a husband. <laughs> this is your last chance, Tom. Come on, puppy. At least the husband's trainable. If you give him the right reward. Is that all you're looking for? No, it's not. I'm looking to get as far away from Dayton as I can. I think I'd do just about anything to get out of this dump. I don't know. I kind of like it here. <sighs> it's because you're a kid and you haven't lived. Why are you looking for J.M.? You an extra? Oh. Well, get your tush over to the set. What's a tush? Now! It's what I do. Well, come on, it's not too late. Do me a favor, kid, and just get out of here. I gotta finish up. Well, if you come right now, you can still meet her. Me and Marilyn make it all better, just like you said, J.M. She was right there. Excuse me? She was there, and I figured we could sneak up to her trailer. Maybe you can meet her, talk to her. Maybe she even come to the press. Don't you want to meet her? You said you did. What? I only got three things in life. A busted down garage, a tow truck, and my dreams. That woman in the trailer, she take one look at me and you know what she see? I got my dreams, Henry. That's all I got. Not all dreams are meant to come true. And whatever they tell you, kid, life ain't no fairy tale. some more beer. They are awful. I meant drunk. I know. But despite how they look, they are harmless. At least until they drive. That's when they get real dangerous. You ever dream? Every night. That's not what I meant. I meant do you have dreams? All people have dreams, son. Even those drunks over there. I doubt it. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> Henry, 
with dreams come hope. And it's hope that makes life a little easier to face. In a way, when you stop dreaming, you stop hoping. And when you stop hoping, you start dying. What do you dream about? I dream that you, my friend, will be as happy as I am. What's this for? That's for you. As long as you have it, your dreams will always come true. I don't want to tell you, boys. Thanks. The evening's over. It's time for you to go. We're not good enough for you anymore. No, I better go help the little princess. Huh? I want you and your boys to pack up and go. I'm Come on, little darling. You know that there's a lot of people in the bar. Come on. Now let's go. We're, we're going to dance? No, we're not going to dance. Now, I told you I want you out of here. Come on, dance. I don't want to have a dance with you. Now, come on. Now, you know. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah
so if you're gonna cry you make sure that you cry for your friend because no one else needs your tears Henry. and miss wilder she told me how hard you worked she said out of all the people who ever worked there my son was one of the best and she thought and, and i thought it would be a good idea for you to go to back to work she needs you i'm so proud of you my interview and how are they going it's actually kind of easy no way i'm ever going to find anybody as lazy as lynette it's always good to see so but you know i can't help thinking no matter who i hire they're not going to be the best but they are going to be a long way from being the worst and actually i think we could use a little middle around here i'll be over at the booth Sorry about Cecil. I'm gonna miss him. Yeah, me too. You uh, ever get that muffler off? Nah, had to cut it. No. You should come by the garage. I'll show you how to use the torch. Great. Yeah. I think you'd like it. It's a little scary at first, you know, when it pops and all, but uh, after a little practice, you get used to it. Start school soon. Oh, yeah. Yep. When you go in seventh grade. <laughs> Great. Oh, ma'am. What's going on? I'm gonna get Cecil on the next job. Cindy's interviewing. Mm. Here you are. Thank you. Yeah. What do you think's gonna happen to Jesse? Well, he'll go to prison, that's for sure. My guess is 25 to life with parole after 15. You know, in a way, he's kind of lucky. If Cecil was a white man, Jesse'd be dead. <laughs> it's not funny. No, kid. Henry. It's not. But I think Cecil would have appreciated the irony of it. What do you mean? See, Jesse's a man who spent his whole life hating. He never really knew why. He was afraid because he was sure that one of the people he hated was going to take his life away. Guess in a way, he was right. Me and my mom might be moving. Oh? Yeah. Mom never was really happy here. Your dad around? Yeah, he still is at the house, if that's what you mean. It's kind of sad in one way, but okay in another. Oh, how so? Well, you see, it used to be that my mom would never do anything for herself, no matter what. It seemed to her like it was only dad that counted. But since, um... Yeah. Well, now it's like my mom's strong. Uh -huh. Funny thing is... First time they've been together, they finally know who needs who and who doesn't. Henry, that was your father on the phone. Says his car broke down. He wanted to know if somebody could give you a ride home. I said it'd be no problem. 
probably going to close down in about 10 minutes anyway. You can't do that. Why not? It's my place. Well, Cindy, people don't come here because they're loyal. They come here to drink. If you shut down early, they're going to go somewhere else. I'll take him home. Thanks. Once you die, you die. If you're gonna live on, it's only gonna be in somebody's heart. As far as death goes, it's only tough on the living. Sorry about the other day. It's okay. You didn't mean to hurt no one, did you? Thanks for trying, Bill. Hey, watch it! Damn rabbits! You okay? Yeah. Hey, I see something up there. Looks too big to be a rabbit. Who is it? Ready to be sick. We should get her home. You know where they're staying? Yeah, over at Mays Hotel in Menon. I'll get her in the truck. I can handle it. Cecil once said that everyone dreams and with dreams come hope and it's hope that makes life a little easier. 
As I watched the man and woman in the truck, I started to understand what Cecil meant. For inside that cab, in the middle of the Nevada desert, appeared an oasis of hope. A place where a wounded soul could rest on a cowboy's shoulder and unburden a weary heart. I don't know what was said that night. J.M. never told me. But if I had to put money on it, I'd bet that a tender heart had finally found someone who'd listen. Someone who'd make it all better. Someone who'd make it all go away. J.M. said that life isn't like a fairy tale and not all dreams are meant to come true. I never did quite agree with him. We're here. saw my first movie and popped my first clutch. I grew a little taller and quit my first job. It was my summer. It was a summer where I realized that maybe the best dreams to come true are those you think never will. Just a dream, just a dream, just a dream. All our plans and all our schemes. But I think you'd be mine Those lies I tell myself each time I know that we could never lie We just can't sing to in the past Just a dream I dream in vain With you I only live
But now I know it's too late for me.